The minority in parliament says its decision to boycott the State of the Nation address was born out of extreme provocation as a result of actions by the president to jeopardize the country's democracy. The minority leader, Haruna Idrisu, made this known at a news conference shortly after the ceremony. The growing culture of impunity and the tyranny that has reached alarming proportions once again on the poll when agents of national security demolish businesses belonging to Ghanaians in the private sector. You've seen the, what happened to uh, Raymond Archer. He's not alone. There are many Ghanaian businesses today who are suffering because they are NDC or related to NDC. We even executed contracts under the NDC and are suffering. They will pay those current and refuse to deal with areas that accumulated. We are working out because if these matters that you consider trivial are allowed to nature as they are, we do not see the future of our democracy. Today, even recruitment into the security agencies is now done secretly instead of open advertisement to the Ghanaian public. And yet we cannot question that. We need to question the loyalty of those citizens who enter the Ghana Police Service, the Immigration Service, the Ghana Forces, and the Navy because we don't want persons with doubtful loyalties. The minority served notice of their boycott last week. We are considering strongly to boycott State of the Nation address if the government refuses to release the MP shares of the third quarter of the 2019 Common Fund. The minority leader made a U-turn. I don't determine when that money is paid, but that is not one of our considered issues. So leave it at that. It is not, and it cannot be, a reason to justify our work out.